Rob from the rich and give to the poor, but I'm not rich, so don't be robbing this from me. What's going on, everyone? My name is Daniel, and welcome to the Cobwebs channel, where we are dusting off old movies. And uh, today we're going to be unboxing the Era Video Limited Edition 4K Blu-ray of Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves is actually one of my favorite movies of all time. And if you had asked me a long time ago, what is the number one movie that you want on 4K Blu-ray that is not currently... I would have said Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. And the reason for that is I've always had this normal Blu-ray for Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, and I've always just found it to be a subpar Blu-ray. Um, this is one that I've just never been happy with because for one reason, it's only the extended version. And because of that, I don't even remember what the differences are, what is in this extended version and not in the theatrical. I know it's just some extra scenes, um, but I've always wanted to go back and watch the theatrical version, that shorter, tighter version that was the first version I saw that made me fall in love with this movie. And you can't get that on this. And I've also just always found the actual Blu-ray itself to uh, have a subpar transfer. I just never thought this looked very good. It does doesn't look as good as, as the rest of my Blu-rays or most of them. So I've been dying for a 4K version, and I'm just so happy that Arrow Video gave this to us. So without further ado, let's dig right into this thing. Now, Arrow Video releases a lot of these big 4K box sets of movies like True Romance, Tremors, and such like that. This is actually the first one that I have ever bought. Um, I've always just found them to be, I don't know, maybe a little bit excessive. Like they're very expensive. You got to pay a lot of money for one movie. And, uh, and it comes with a lot of extra frills that I don't necessarily need. But that's great if one of your favorite movies of all time is Tremors or True Romance. Two movies I like, not two favorite movies of all time for me. Um, but this, this is one of those movies for me. Um, so I, I, you know, I kind of eat my words on not being a big fan of the, of what Arrow's doing with these when they release one of my all time favorites. There it is without the plastic on looking quite a bit better in the camera. Here you can see the side, the back, which is nothing now. Um, and then there is where you can get the actual disc. So let's dig into the actual contents here. Uh, we have got the actual 4k blu-ray case. We've got the ultra HD blu-ray disc looking great i really like the original cover art by the way that this is given i wonder if it's a it's reversible with the original poster art i think it is i think that's what i've heard yep original post art which i love that is that is some amazing poster art which i am totally in love with and if you just compare it to what we got on the original blu-ray there's no comparison like this is lame this is not great it's so beige it just doesn't look eye-catching that's eye-catching right there you got kevin costner shooting the arrow and by the way kevin costner is a robin hood that i love i am a huge fan of the robin hood character i love these classic stories like dracula king arthur um dr jekyll and mr hyde robin hood robin hood is just one of those classic stories that i've always loved i grew up in the errol flynn version from 1938 actually did not see this version until much later in life and fell in love with it just as much. I love Costner as Robin Hood. I don't care at all that he doesn't use a British accent. I think that was probably for the best that he didn't try that. So he didn't end up like Keanu Reeves and Coppola's Dracula. Yeah, I just think he so embodies who Robin Hood should be. Because I think Robin Hood should not be an anti-hero. He shouldn't be very flawed. I think the appeal of Robin Hood is that he's one of the best. Of, he's the best of us. Um, he is a guy who knows what the right thing to do is and will do whatever it takes to make sure the right thing gets done. And that's he's a lot like Superman in that way. And the thing that makes him interesting is his conflict with the corrupt people around him and how he just won't put up with them. There is the back right there. Let's dig into what's actually inside this. Now, this is interesting. There is no... There is no regular Blu-ray. I actually didn't realize that. There is only a 4K disc. So if you don't have a 4K player, you are completely out of luck. I don't know why you'd buy something this expensive anyway. Um, but there's no regular Blu-ray. You can only watch it on 4K. And with all the stuff inside, we've got... There is the original cover art, as well as a picture of Robin and Marion. Same deal here. Picture of Kevin Costner shooting an arrow. Is there anything more satisfying in storytelling than Robin Hood just making the perfect arrow shot, splitting an arrow? I don't think so. I think that's as good as it gets. Robin and Marion again. Uh, Brian Adams, right? 
Classic Brian Adams love song that goes along with this. Gotta love it. And there we've got Morgan Freeman. Great addition to the Robin Hood mythology his character is. Then we've also got another one of Kevin Costner shooting an arrow. I love his costume in this because as much as I love Errol Flynn, you know, you you can't deny that his costume in the 1938 version is dated. Um, And they go with a more realistic look for him in this. And I love that. Alan Rickman as the Sheriff of Nottingham, best Sheriff of Nottingham. There's a lot of different versions throughout movies of the Sheriff of Nottingham. Alan Rickman is the top. Uh, Let's see. Looks like we got some drawings of Robin, Marion, and King Richard, King Richard the Lionheart, played by Sean Connery, of course. And then I can't quite see that. Morgan Freeman and I think that's Robin Hood again. Yeah, that's Costner again. Oh, and then we got a bunch more stuff. We got Robin Hood and some knights. We got Robin and Marion. There's a Sheriff of Nottingham. A lot of good art in here. So that's fun. That's definitely a good time. And then, okay, that looks like this is an arrow sort of advertisement of some kind. So that's interesting. So that's all the stuff you're going to get inside this particular case. Let's see what is in. It looks like we got a couple of booklets. Oh, one's a poster. Fantastic. Fantastic. I usually never put up these posters that they put inside Blu-rays. Uh, but I think this is one that I'm going to put up. I think so. Because I love this movie so much. All right. There we've got new po- new cover art. Fantastic. Uh, and then we got, which is the one that I would put up, honestly, The original poster. I've talked a lot already in this video about how much I love that. This is just, you know, I love the swashbuckler renaissance that happened in the 90s and the early 2000s. This is definitely the movie that kicked it off. But then you got The Mask of Zorro, The Three Musketeers, which is very influenced by this movie uh, heavily. Um, And then The Count of Monte Cristo, uh, Cutthroat Island, which lost the studio a ton of money, practically bankrupted them, but is a fun movie. This is definitely the movie that kicked it off. And that's awesome. So then we've got this particular booklet. We got more of that art that I showed you in that pamphlet. And then we got a whole bunch of stuff in here. We got the cast, the crew listed. Oh, here's a table of contents. Fantastic. Table of contents is cast and crew, an evergreen hero of a tale often told, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, Kevin Costner, Prince of Hollywood, uh, image gallery, and about the restoration. What do you guys think about Kevin Costner? Uh, not just as Robin Hood, but in general. I love Kevin Costner, uh, but something that's interesting about him is he often plays hero roles that seems like he's trying to be as flawed as possible, and he's almost begging you not to like him, whether you look at him in Waterworld or in Open open Range. Um, he's always trying to be very flawed and damaged, and that's not what he's going for in Robin Hood. He's very much going for, I am a great hero, the best of us. I am such a good person and I'm going to lead you all to justice. And I love that. When I watch this movie, I feel like I would just follow him to the ends of the earth, honestly. So yeah, we got some essays in here. This one is by Mark Cunliffe. And then we got another one, Rob, uh, Kevin Costner, Prince of Hollywood by Jackson Cooper. And then we got a whole lot of pictures in here. A whole lot of pictures from the movie. Good stuff. Man, I love this. Great production design in this movie, too. It looks so good. I think I'm actually going to watch this today because I'm so excited to watch it in beautiful HD. Oh, my goodness. So excited. Oh, then we got Michael Wincott as Sir Guy of Gisborne. I love Michael Wincott. And he had his big comeback in Nope just this year. That's great. Then we got a lot of black and white pictures. Maybe some behind the scenes. Maybe behind the scenes stuff. Doesn't look to be. I don't think so. Uh, But, yeah, that is about... Ooh, okay, here we got some behind-the-scenes stuff. I believe that's director Ken- Kevin Reynolds, who also directed Waterworld, I'm almost positive. About the restorations. It says, Robin and Prince of Thieves is presented in its original aspect ratio of 1851 with stereo 2.0 and 5.1 sound. The film is presented in both the original theatrical and extended cut versions. That's what I want, because... I'm all for director's cuts, for extended versions. That's all well and good. But give me the theatrical too. I want the choice. Don't, please don't replace the theatrical version. I want it for the sake of film history. I want to see what audiences saw when they went to see this in the theater. Like for the sake of director vision, all that. Give me the extended. Give me the director's cut. That's fine. But for the sake of preservation, give me the theatrical as well. That's what I believe. So I'm going to put back in the booklet. The poster. 
Oh, I'm going to put the booklet back the other way. I'm so excited about this, guys. So let me know in the comments. Did you pick this up? Have you watched it yet? What do you think of the movie? But what do you think of the 4K restoration? Is it a lot better than the original Blu-ray? Let me know. I've actually got another Robin Hood video coming to the channel very, very soon, um, in which I'm going to talk about a lot of different Robin Hood movies. And in that video, I'll tell you what I think of the 4K restoration of this. That's Robin and Prince of Thieves. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give a subscribe if you want to see that Robin Hood video in the future. And if you want to see any of my other videos, check it out. I like to talk about old movies. And with all that said, I'll see you next time.